In this video, we're going to create multiple Airtable records with a single form using fillout. Let's go. Okay, so imagine you are a town pool and you need to take membership applications. Someone needs to apply and say, what's the name of the application? What's the family name who's applying? But then they also need to indicate who are the members of the family who are going to be getting membership cards, who are going to be using the pool. We have the parent table as memberships, the child table as members. We want one single form that they can fill out so they can not only apply for the pool, but they can also indicate to us who are the members of their family who are going to be part of the application. So let's go right into fill out for this. New form. Connect to Airtable. Pick your theme. Select your, your Airtable connection. In this case, I've already made it with my beach base. Select the base. Select the table from which the form is being generated. In this case, memberships, the parent table, and hit Create. Let's call it beach. And what are we talking about? Pool application. All right. We want to do first, last, street. Maybe throw email in there in between. Let's put a heading up there. Submit your beach application. First, last, email, street, and then the members. All right. Now it's this members linked record field that we need to configure. First step. Select can create new records. Second step. Select only show new records. Third step. Select can select multiple. Next step, come into the edit record creation form. Now this is now the form for the child table. And let's configure this. We want first name, last name, relationship to applicant. Let's also put a heading up here. Now in this header, I want information from the parent table. So what I'm gonna do is hit settings, URL parameters, add a new URL parameter. In this case, I'm going to call it family name, let's copy that, add parameter. We're gonna to return to the parent form. Head back to this linked record field. And now we're gonna to go to pass information to sub form and hit configure. Now you remember we set up that URL parameter, it finds it, it's called family name, and we're gonna send through the last name that has been already entered into this field on the page. Okay, now that we're, we're done with that, we can go back into editing the child form, and we're going to say, submit new member for the, and now we'll hit the at symbol, and we'll take that information from the URL, from the family name application. Submit new member for the Smith family application. Boom. There we go. I think we got it. Let's return to the parent form. Publish. And let's open it and let's see what happens. Let's say, we're gonna say, Chris Sampson. Chris at sampsonmail.com. One, two, three, Main Street. And we're gonna start adding members. First member is going to be Jane Sampson. Spouse submit. 
Now let's wait for Jane to show up. Next member. Johnny Sampson. Child. And let's say Robert Jones. Robert is going to be the caregiver. Submit. Now let's submit the whole thing and come back. Here we go. We've got the Robert, pardon me. We've got the Chris Sampson application with three members who are all listed here in a child table with the three members, spouse, child, and caregiver, all linked back to here. Now for extra credit, we're going to have a field here that's going to stack and list the names of each of the members in the child table back to the membership table. And the way we did that was we had a roll up field where we rolled up the name from the members table using array join values. But instead of a comma or instead of a semicolon as the separator, we're going to say backslash n. And that is the character string used for a line break. There you go. That's the video. Thanks a lot.